This is not your typical classroom. Three times a week, these students gather in their teacher's garden in Uganda's capital, Kampala, to learn how to code. You write the type, you, hit, you write your head in. Just before lockdown forced schools to shut down in the East African nation, Shamim Mwanaisha, a mother of two, started the Supersonic Aviators Club. Her aim is to train the next generation of Ugandan coders. Mwanaisha used her own savings to start the club, which mainly caters to underprivileged children who do not have access to equipment and internet. The classes are free of charge, and here, children as young as six can learn the fundamentals of coding. The system works in the way that we recruit ch children and we introduce them to STEM education using coding, space, aviation, and climate change. In coding, we learn different languages. For example, we learn HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. I also teach them to use codes so that they be able to command the computer to do different tasks. Mwanaisha was inspired to take up coding three years ago when her seven-year-old son expressed interest in aviation and coding. Despite the challenges of ongoing lockdowns and restrictions due to the pandemic, Mwanaisha finds ways to keep the classes going and the children engaged and active, especially when schools are closed. Before COVID, I used to host many children into my house. They would come, they would study. But right now, because of we have to follow the SOPs, children have to learn from my outside my compound, whereby we face a problem of sunshine, it's too hot outside. Sometimes when you're learning, it rains, and other parents, they don't have money to buy internet, so few of them go online. The club has slowly garnered attention, mainly through word of mouth, and currently has around 25 children from the age of six to the late teens. I do coding because I want to be a white attacker and be able to stop or block the black attackers. So can you go through this? Can you tell me what you've done, starting from DOC? Mm -hmm. Africa is the world's last major untapped market for internet access. Only 16% of its billion people use the internet, according to the International Telecommunication Union. Analysts say technological innovation is seen as a quick way to help promote lasting economic growth and development. Along with coding, the initiative also helps children develop their interests in aviation, astronomy and science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Mwanaisha has also enlisted the services of her friend, engineer and inventor Innocent Mugabe, who happened to have recently built his own aircraft. And then we have uh, this. This. He helps the students learn about aircraft parts and aviation vocabulary. They also regularly watch documentaries about aviation and space exploration. A specific standard which is hard. We do flight experiences. We do camp aviation. We assemble aircrafts. They watch movies about space to motivate them. They took presentations. This has enabled them to be creative, creative, critical thinkers, and also problem solvers. With my passion in aviation and climate change, I hope that one day I'll be able to discover biofuels which planes can use instead of fossil fuels which damage the environment. Shamim Mwanaisha has also taken the club's activities online with classes offered to anyone interested in coding. Mwanaisha also says she is looking for donors to help buy more laptops and equipment for her aviation and space programs. This is the Runa Moon, this is an astronaut on the runa moon trying to get samples of runa rocks.